What are we doing today, Julia? Um, today we're making um, Asian mini duck burgers. Duck burgers. With a Great. shiitake mushroom glaze. Well, doesn't that sound nice? Mini burgers. Mini burgers. Not Murray burgers. Mini Murray burgers. Mini Murr. Oh, <laughs> mini me. Okay. Well, let's get at it. Okay. So I've already ground the duck breasts. Right. I chopped them in smaller pieces so that they would um, grind through the food processor easier. Right. Um, left the skin on, the fat content in because duck breast is very lean without the fat in the right. skin. So we want a little bit of fat content in the, the meat itself. Um, I'm going to add one green onion chopped. Right. Hoisin mm. sauce. Hoisin, that'll give it a little bit of a bite. That's it? the Asian That's part. Nice. Yes. Nice. Some uh, chopped garlic, finely chopped. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And some grated ginger, fresh. Oh, that'd not sound nice. A little bit of Malden sea salt. Has to be Malden because it's the best. Can you help me with what Malden is? Malden's is a sea salt. It's a very fine crystal. Okay. It's from England. Crystal. Uh, that's the difference. Rather than rock. Yes. Great. It's so you don't have to grind it. It's very Great. fine. And a little bit of black pepper. That looks good. All right. Here we okay. go. Oh, look Mix at this. that. Doesn't that look like fun? <laughs> And depending if you want to have this as an appetizer, you could serve one or two, or if you want to have it as a main, maybe okay. three or four. All right. I don't know. Well, How many could you eat, Murray? Well, mini me. Are I you could, a fan of duck? Um, well, sometimes it quacks me up, but uh, <laughs> I find it pretty good. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's pretty well blended. That's enough of that, eh? Can I make the little burgers up while Certainly. you do that? Sure. Do you want to show me the size, though? Well, we want them to fit those fit rolls right one. there. So we'll measure. Yeah. Okay, got it. They're not going to shrink too much, and okay. you don't want them to be too... Um... Oh, that looks good. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Okay. Now, now, you kids, now you've seen the one Juliet does. Now, watch me. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, so while that? you're How doing do? that, I'll right. start preparing the shiitake mushroom glaze. Bad A, same size, pretty good. Hers is about the same size as mine. Ought to fit that pretty well. Oh, sorry. What are we doing? <laughs> I'm preparing the shiitake mushroom glaze. You want to stem the mushrooms. All right. Because the stem is quite tough and woody, so we don't want yeah. that part. Do you do that with all mushrooms? Um, you have to pretty well stem them? Not all of them, but okay. portobello, shiitake. Yeah. yeah, you want to do that. Good. Oh, boy. You want the more tender What a nice part. aroma to this. What was it that was in there that had an aroma? The hoisin sauce, uh, the ginger, yeah, the garlic. Yeah, the ginger. Ginger and garlic. I was paying attention, wasn't I? That's How many you want me to make, sweetie? Enough for now. Three, five, okay? That's that's fine. Right. That's perfect. I will, so if uh, you want to put them on the grill, all right. Just be careful for well, flare-up. Yeah. Because um, we did incorporate the fat from the duck breast in there. Oh, there will be, won't there? There'll be a lot of. Now, would you, uh, if you're doing these at home, would you put them in the fridge to set up a bit? That would work. Yeah, it yeah, would that, work a little better. That would better, be very eh? helpful, actually. Either, uh, we got a hot one here It's today. a really hot day, so we have to yeah. work quick. There we go. Oh, they look good. So now you've cut your shiitakes. Yes, so on the um, other side of the grill, if you want to start the saute pan with some All olive right. oil. Cool. Thanks, sweetie. Yeah, that's nice. So, round one, here we go. Got some oil in there like that. Our burgers are coming along nicely. The pan's getting hot. What else would you so like? So you want to add the shiitake mushrooms to the pan with the onion. Okay. Sweat them out. Great. Which won't be hard to do today. No, not today. <laughs> Great. Cool. I'm just going to let that cook for a minute. Just get it nice and hot on that end. West Plains Bistro, how, how long has it been there? Um, we've been there two years in September. Great. And you've won some awards, I hear. Yes, we have. We won a Soup Bowl event at the Leuna Station. Oh, nice. Yeah. Great. And you're enjoying it? Having I love fun? It. I love it. Yes. It's nice to have Great a nice bistro on Plains Road. Yeah. 
Great. Well, Julia, I think these can be flipped now. Oh, yeah, they're nice. And the nice part about burgers is you can't, they'll come off the grill when they're done and not a minute before, correct? Mm-hmm. How's that? If they don't move easily, then they're not ready. That's right. How's that look? That looks great. Came apart a little bit, but they didn't get a chance to set up, so. Now, what else would you like to put in here? Balsamic vinegar the into the amount? mushroom. Ooh. Yep. Nice. Oh, we got some heat there now. A couple of yeah. tablespoons of molasses. Okay, and that's what's here. It's a couple. Great. Well, that'll tighten it up nicely, won't it? Mm-hmm. Some more hoisin sauce. Hoisin. Ooh. Now we got some heat. Some fresh chopped gar oh, garlic. Oh, garlic, my favorite. Gotta love the garlic, you kids. And some fresh chopped basil. Oh, nice. Doesn't. Oh, think of the hoisin, basil, garlic. Shiitakes, that sounds wonderful. Now, do you want to season it with some salt and pepper? Sure. And I love pepper. Very nice. It's looking good. Oh, yeah. A nice cook on here. Boy, that's a nice sauce. Woo, that's a warm one. There we go. And how, how much do you want this to reduce, Julia? Um, you just want to reduce it till it coats the tongs a little okay. bit. Okay. How do your burgers look to you, Juliet? They look fantastic. They look like yeah. they're done or not? Yes, they don't need to be totally okay. well done. They can be medium. Great. So we can take those off while we wait for the sauce. We'll let out just a tinch. Did you want to toast the buns? If you would like me to, I would love to toast my buns. Great. They won't take long on a hot day like today. Two. Go. Three. Go. Oh, that's bubbling nicely now, isn't it? There you go. Four. Yeah, that looks Very fantastic. Very nice. Hey, oh, nice. Okay. Bun, bun, bottom. Now the burgers. This is nice. Okay. Burger. Boy, they smell nice, Juliana. Two, three. Whoops, it is. Oops. Come here, you little critter. Come here, you little duck. Perfect size. Look at that. How'd we do? Oops, one too many. One for us for later. And the lids. Oh, look at that sauce. It's gonna be perfect. Yeah, isn't that coming up nicely? Great. And yep. Oh, nice. Boy, you can smell that. A nice aroma. There you go, and I'll let you spoon it on the okay, way you'd like. Could you pass me a spoon, please, Mary? Watch this. There we go. We're just going to garnish the burgers with a little mm. fresh mache. Oh, they look nice. Oh, boy. What a nice aroma. So these would be used as an appetizer or as you say, or as an entree. That's right. You can Great. have one or two as an appetizer. You can serve them on a platter. You can make them smaller if you want okay. to. You can make them larger. And these little guys are? Th this is fresh mache. And mache is? It's it's just a tiny leaf lettuce, but it's- Isn't that nice? Yeah, to go with the tiny Cute burgers. Cute little guy, isn't it? All right, well, we're putting these together. We'll be right back.